Heinz Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. It is Friday, September the 28th, 2018. Let's talk about NFL football picks for week four of the 2018 season. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Today I have two point spread picks and then three plays that I like on a money line. Let's start with the point spread plays. I like the Philadelphia Eagles on the road, laying three points against the Tennessee Titans. Right? Leonard Fournette, banged up hamstr hamstring. I'm not sure how effective he's going to be. You know, the Eagles, quite frankly, remain one of the most talented teams in the National Football League. I think Carson Wentz, after shaking off some rust last week, is going to start to get his confidence back. I think Tennessee is in such disarray that Rashard Matthews asked for a trade and got a trade. Right? I think the Eagles bounce back here. I think they cover the three points. Next, I like the New York Giants, right? New coach, an offensive system. Understand Pat Shermer last year was with Case Keenum, right? He lifted Case to new levels. What I want you to do is to look at Eli Manning's passing yards for last week, right? Manning is starting to get in a rhythm in this offensive system. Let's face it too. In terms of wide receivers, Manning has one of the best sets in the entire league with Shepard and Odell Beckham, right? Finally, let's face it, the Saints have no defense, right? Teams, the only game where the Saints looked like they had any shred of defense was against Tyrod Taylor and the Cleveland Browns. And understand, Tyrod's lost his job to a rookie, right? And we're still in the first month of the season. Against all the other teams, the Saints have looked terrible defensively. So here, I'm getting a field goal and a hook with the Giants at home. I like my chances. I like the New York Giants plus three and a half over the New Orleans Saints. Let's talk about the money line plays. I'm normally not big on money line plays, but this week's a little bit different. You have a rookie quarterback on the road going up against one of the league's best defenses, one of the league's best secondaries. And this rookie quarterback was known in college for throwing picks. I like the Jacksonville Jaguars on a money line, a minus 370 over Sam Darnold and the New York Jets. Next, you know, the Patriots looked bad last week, didn't they? You know, you thought that maybe Belichick was taking it easy on Matt Patricia, his former defensive coordinator, you know, early in the game. You thought, okay, Belichick's not going to embarrass his student. Um, you know, too badly here on national television. Then you got to the fourth quarter and you thought to yourself, where's the urgency? Don't tell me that Matt Patricia, who was struggling when he first got this Lion head coaching job, now was about to beat the Patriots by more than a touchdown. But that's what happened. Well, let me just say, just like you saw the Vikings yesterday bounce back from their loss to the Bills, right? Unforgivable loss, but they looked good against the Rams. Didn't win the game, but offensively they look good. I'm expecting the New England Patriots to bounce back from the beating they took. That's what it was at the hands of the Detroit Lions. Patriots are now coming home. They're playing a team they know, divisional rival who they see twice every year. I'm not that big a believer in Ryan Tannehill. I like the Patriots at a minus 290 at home over the Miami Dolphins. Let me point out too, when you're getting the Patriots at
after a loss. In fact, it's two losses at home. And all your paying's a minus 290. In my opinion, you're getting a bargain. Right? I don't even believe Belichick is going to have to crack the whip to get the attention of his team this week. Patriots get back to the Patriot way. I think they beat the Miami Dolphins. Finally, you know, San Francisco lost their quarterback, and there really was no plan B. This is a Kyle Shanahan offense, right? Think Matt Ryan. A lot of demands are placed on the quarterback in this offense, right? Now, the Niners don't have a Steve Young here to replace a Joe Montana, right? Jimmy Garoppolo is out. The Niners are going with a backup quarterback against an absolute offensive juggernaut, the Los Angeles Chargers, right? I like the Chargers here at a minus 460. The price is steep, but I just don't see how San Francisco is going to be able to compete without their quarterback against a team that many picked before the season to win their division. So I like the Chargers here on a money line over the San Francisco 49ers. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there's an angle on a game that you feel gamblers need to know about, if there's information you have about an injury or some other information that might shed light on who's going to win any of these games, then I hope you share that with fellow gamblers here in the comment section to this video on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.